There are three tools for manipulating your actor within the viewport of Unreal Engine 4. The Move tool, the Rotate tool and the Scale tool. With the shortcut keys of W for Move, E for Rotate and R for Scale. You can also cycle through them using the spacebar. The axes on all three of these tools are colour coded so that blue always means Z, red always means X and green always means Y. You've got a little indicator down in your left hand corner here to help you remember that. You can also think of XYZ equals RGB. With the move tool I can move my object along any of these axes just by clicking and dragging. But you also have the center point here, so that little round dot where all the axes combine and see how my cursor changes when I'm over it. If I click and drag from that point, what it enables me to do is to move my object along any of the axes, so in all directions. The other thing you have here are little planar connectors between each pair of axes. So this one here that connects between the blue of Z and the red of X. If I click on that one, that means I'm going to be moving my object just in those two planes, not in any of the others. With the rotate tool, I can move the object along any of these planes. So I can rotate my object along this plane and you can see as I'm doing that, I'm getting a little numerical indication of how far I'm rotating the object. With both the Rotate tool and the Move tool, you have the option to switch between what's called World View and Object View. And to show you how that works, I'm going to switch back to the Move tool. And if you just observe the axes here when I switch between the two, see how at the moment the axes in World View are matching exactly these axes down in the left hand corner. However, if I switch to Object View, because I've rotated this object on its axes, you can see that those axes change slightly. And what that means is, if I'm going to move my object here, I'm going to move it in relation to the axes of the world. However, what I might want to do instead is have it move in relation to the axes of the object. And so it just gives me that freedom of manipulating the object. The Scale tool operates very much like the Move tool. It's got a center point that enables me to scale the object proportionally across all axes. And it also enables me to select individual axes or to click in between those axes to scale it just across two of the particular axes. You can also change the location, rotation and scale of an object by typing direct values into the XYZ coordinate boxes here in the details panel once you have an object selected. For each of the three tools there are snapping settings. So this first block is all about the move tool, this next one's about the rotation tool and this last one is about the scale tool. They each have a pop down menu with different snap sizes that you can set or you can choose to turn snapping on or off by clicking the larger button here. So it's on when it's orange and it's off when it's white. In the perspective viewport you can also center up on an object by pressing the F key. You can also do a similar thing by selecting the object in the scene outliner and double clicking on it. The one difference is, as you know, there are four different ways of viewing your object. So you've got the three orthographic views of side, front and top, as well as the perspective view. Pressing the F key just centers it within the perspective view. If you want to center it in all of them, you just need to double click on the object in the scene outliner. Final couple of tips, if you're moving an object, and I've just switched to the example map here to show this, so if I'm moving an object and I move it out of screen, it becomes quite tricky to place. So a handy tip is if you hold down the shift key while you move an object, you're going to move the viewport camera with you, so it makes it much easier to place things, so that's the shift key as you move. Another handy thing that you can do, let's say that you've got 
a few particular views that you want to return to for whatever reason. You can create a bookmark of a particular view by pressing the command key on a Mac or control key on Windows plus a number. So if I press command 1 while I'm looking at this view and then I turn around to somewhere else, when I next press the 1 key I'm going to be taken back to that view that I bookmarked. You can find your bookmarks under this menu here if you go down to bookmarks and it's got the ones that you've set are available up here and then you can see that you've got nine different or well, ten different slots that you could potentially put bookmarks into and you can also clear your bookmarks from that menu.